Hey guys, welcome back to Ask an Engineer. I'm Mike. Today's question comes from a fellow designer working on a sheet metal case. Their question is, I'm designing a sheet metal case and plan to use some countersunk rivets. What C-Sync rivets do you guys use? Can I get a data sheet? I plan to use either three millimeter or one eighth diameter rivets. Great question. I've got just the answer for you. Let's get into it. Countersunk rivets are a great choice for achieving a smooth and clean surface in your sheet metal design. But there are a few key things to keep in mind when selecting and working with them. First up, yes, we've got the rivets you're asking for. We can absolutely provide you with the data sheets and the manufacturer's part number so you can review all the technical specifications on their website. When using countersunk rivets, you'll need to consider the following two things. First is the lapped or stacked material thickness. This thickness is the total combined thickness between the parts or components that are being riveted together. Second is the required countersink depth to ensure that the rivet sits flush on the part. For this type of rivet, specifically the 3 8 inch countersunk rivet that we have in stock, you'll require a lapped or stacked material thickness between 0.126 and 0.187 inches. This is to ensure that the parts are not loosely fastened together. Additionally, the countersink depth requirement for this rivet is 0.031 inches, meaning the front side part being riveted needs a minimum sheet thickness of 0.031 inches. If the compatibility with your chosen design hardware is a concern, we can also step in to help. Share your requirements with us and we'll check whether or not the hardware is compatible with our process. If it doesn't, no worries. We will provide alternatives that meet your needs whenever possible. Bottom line, whether you're using three millimeter or one eight inch diameter rivets, always double check your material thickness and review the provided data sheets to ensure a precise and reliable assembly. Subscribe for more weekly tips from Ask an Engineer. That's all I have for you today, and I'll see you next week.